So when we talk about a white elephant, that can refer to an actual animal. But more often, the term white elephant refers to something that costs more to maintain than it's probably worth. And that's the definition we're using for this list, which contains 13 of the biggest construction projects that wasted massive amounts of time and money. 13. The Bridge to Nowhere Now that term, bridge to nowhere, is usually applied to bridges that are incomplete, broken, or generally just don't lead anywhere. The term also has political connotations where a proposed bridge is earmarked to service low populations at a high cost, which is often construed as pork barrel spending. Now that was much the case in 2005 when Alaska received some $223 million to build the Gravina Island Bridge, projected to be longer than the Golden Gate Bridge, which itself goes almost 9,000 feet and higher than the Brooklyn Bridge. Now, this structure would have connected 50 people and an airport on the island to a nearby mainland town of some 80,000 residents. Now, due to the relatively small amount of people the project would have serviced, critics quickly dubbed it the Bridge to Nowhere. Now, while campaigning for governor, Sarah Palin apparently supported the bridge by wearing a t-shirt that read, Nowhere Alaska, and by 2015, the project was officially scrapped. 12. Detroit People Mover At one point, Detroit, Michigan was the fourth largest city in the U.S., with a population closing in on 2 million people. But a system of freeways that provided easy routes to the suburbs helped to drain off some of the city's population. Now, that trend was noticed in the 1980s, and a plan was proposed to construct a massive downtown transit system that would link major businesses and protect patrons from Detroit's often nasty weather. The Detroit People Mover was the result, an elevated tram that ran one one way for nearly three miles around the downtown area. A big problem arose with regard to logistics. Without a metro rail system, commuters could not transport into Detroit and then board the people mover to their specific destination. Bus riders, for example, could not simply transfer over, but would have to buy a separate ticket for the people mover. All of which has led to some critics referring to the project as a, quote, horizontal elevator to nowhere. 11. Berlin Brandenburg Airport in Germany A new airport in Berlin was scheduled to have opened in 2012, but five years later it's been rescheduled to open by 2019, and its cost has ballooned from around $2 billion to nearly $6 billion. So what caused the problems? Well, many issues arose with the quality of design and construction. The fire alarm, for example, was found to be substandard. That prompted a suggestion that 800 workers be hired to stand about the airport and send texts via their mobile phones in the event they detected smoke or fire. Well, in all, some 150,000 defects were found, with the majority of them deemed, quote, serious. The German government actually spends more than $20 million each month to maintain the airport just as it currently stands. 10. Pearl River Bridge, China Three major cities are located on China's Pearl River Delta, Hong Kong, Macau, and Suhai. A bridge spanning the delta and linking the cities would result in the largest extended urban area in the world. Now that idea has been around for quite a while, but construction did not get started until 2009, with an expected completion date of 2016. Well, that deadline, of course, has come and gone. For now, the bridge can only receive vehicular traffic starting in 2018, consisting of three cable-stayed bridges and one under Sea tunnel. The price tag for the project is nearly $16 billion. But the bridge has been plagued by various engineering problems, construction worker deaths, and accusations of corruption. According to local sources, executives and lab techs allegedly filed false test results for the concrete work. That establishes concerns about the structure's safety, meaning that two-thirds of the supporting columns and pillars might need replacing. 9. Ciudad Real Central Airport in Spain Located in Castile-La Mancha, this facility was nicknamed the Don Quixote Airport after the fictional character. Now, to an extent, this failed project was a victim of bad timing. It was conceived in the 1990s when Spain's economy was more robust. Money for the first private international airport in the country was easier to come by. But by the time the airport opened in 2008, the Spanish economy had essentially halted. By the time it was shut down in 2012, the airport did not have one single flight. After the 1.2 billion dollar airport was put up for auction, it received a bid of less than $12,000 from a Chinese investment firm. Now that offer was rejected as too low. But in 2016, a local consortium paid out $62 million for Don Quixote Airport. Hopefully, that includes some windmills to tilt at.
8. Rusky Bridge in Russia Did you know the world's longest cable-stayed bridge is located in Vladivostok, Russia? Now that's as defined by the length of its main span. Extending some 3,622 feet between suspension towers, the bridge was originally constructed for the 2012 Asia-Pacific Economic Conference. Then President of Russia Vladimir Putin approved the project at a cost exceeding a billion dollars. It was seen as a way to connect Vladivostok with Rusky Island, where the conference was being held. The problem was that after the conference was over, so was a lot of the bridge's relevance. It was designed to handle 50,000 vehicles each day, but Rusky Island only has 5,000 residents, which has led to a severe underusage. 7. Sochi, Russia no sooner than the 2014 Winter Olympics were awarded to Sochi than the small town on Russia's Black Sea attracted hordes of contractors and construction workers. Between them, those workers would essentially create a whole new Sochi. Their efforts resulted in the construction of nearly 50 new hotels, along with 13 train stations, either new or renovated, six medical centers, five new schools, and 200 miles of new roads, which included 55 new bridges and 22 new tunnels. Now, the bill for all that building was an an estimated $51 billion, the highest price tag ever for hosting an Olympics Games. Contrast that with the cost of the larger scale Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, which cost around $13 billion. The spike in tourism didn't last long after the Winter Olympics ended, and the gleaming white sports palaces have essentially stayed empty and silent ever since. 6. In Tempo Apartments Now here's another financial fiasco from Spain. Now this one was intended to be the tallest residential building in Europe. Located in Benidorm, Spain, the Twin Towers rise some 650 feet high and contain 269 flats, only 80 of which have been sold. Now back in 2005, a Spanish bank funded what became one of the biggest white elephants on the continent. The M-shaped towers overlooking the Mediterranean cost more than $124 million, and problems arose almost immediately with construction and design flaws. While the construction is mostly complete, the building is still unoccupied and was actually due to open by 2009. 5. Millennium Dome or O2 Arena if you can remember back to the late 1990s, the world was gripped with Millennium Fever. To capitalize on the Millennium Buzz, officials in England built the Millennium Dome, which had a price tag of some $1.3 billion. Built along the River Thames, it was expected to draw at least 12 million visitors each year. Instead, it got a total of around 6 million visitors, proving that Millennium Fever was only in effect for the year 2000. Five years later, the dome was renamed the O2 after the telecom company that took it over, and now operates it as an entertainment venue. 4. Hotel of Doom The Rugyong Hotel is an impressive pyramid-shaped skyscraper found in North Korea. It stands around 105 stories tall, or about 1,100 feet. It was intended to be the tallest hotel in the world, complete with nightclubs and casinos. Construction began in 1987, but to date shows no signs of ever being completed. The most elaborate project of the totalitarian regime was undermined by the fall of the Soviet Union, and the withdrawal of that financial support resulted in the endless construction delays. Costs for the big building range from $600 to $750 million, which is actually upwards of 2% of North Korea's entire GDP, or gross domestic product. 3. Palace of Parliament, Romania This colossal edifice in Bucharest, Romania, holds claim to a number of records. It's the largest administrative building in the world with an area of nearly 4 million square feet. In terms of weight, it weighs in as the world's heaviest building as well. Not only are government offices housed here, but also museums. And yet it's estimated that 70% of the building is empty. And yet after starting construction in 1984, the building is still considered to be unfinished. That seems to be a lot of wasted space, and some would argue that the palace is a waste of money as well. In addition to its other titles, this is also the most expensive administrative building in the world, valued at around three and a half billion dollars. 2. City of Arts and Sciences, Spain Considered to be one of the most important tourist destinations in Valencia, it's also revered as one of the 12 treasures of Spain. The huge complex contains a science museum, an opera house, a performance hall, a bridge, and a planetarium. The original estimate for the project in 1996 was around $357 million, but since then, that estimate has trebled to around $1.2 billion. Many problems plague the exotic complex, one of the most crucial 
setbacks was the roof of the Opera House, which was shown to heavily leak and could peel away in high winds. Now, in addition to being a cultural symbol of Spain, the City of Arts and Sciences has also become a symbol of financial mismanagement and profligate spending. 1. New South China Mall Did you know that the world's largest shopping mall opened for business in 2005? In China. Now that size is actually determined by the gross leasable area. Despite the size, the complex lay vacant for more than a decade. So few merchants joined up that many critics started calling it a dead mall. But it's not for lack of space. The mall has room for more than 2,000 stores, in addition to amusement facilities and a huge food court. Areas of the mall even reflect global themes, like an area that replicates the canals of Venice. While it once expected to receive 100,000 visitors daily, it usually receives around 200, and most of them head for McDonald's. It goes to prove the old saying about being successful in real estate, it's all about location, location, location.